Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Listening to some King Diamond Conspiracy on my picture disc. On my new phone, again, here we go. So here we go. This is Pinkas Mule, a Munster Alt. Okay, first time I've ever had anything from the Pinkas people. 5.1 alcohol by volume. This is another one from the Pikes Creek beverage that was aged. Not exactly sure how old it is, but I want to use, I know it might not be the right style. This is a Hefeweizen glass, but I want to make sure I get all the beer out, not disturb the yeast cake, because again, this is um, on the older side, a couple years old at least. So, Browery Pinkus Mula Munster. Okay, let's see if we can get some. can't really see. Nope. Sorry about that. I'm just kind of checking it out, but I can't really get any good descriptors for you. So I'll just put it right there. The ghost is still. I see the finger. Oh, yeah. Let's crack it open. She's still nice little liveliness still coming up. Now this is an organic Munster alt beer. I haven't had an alt beer in absolutely ages. Lee just did an alt beer on his channel. Lee Russell did an alt beer. There we go. Pinkles. There. Pinkles in the stinkus. Okay. So here he is. That is actually it's very reminiscent of the Oktoberfest that I had from ABK. It is just a hair darker than a straw, almost a darker honey hue. Nice streaming carbonation, lively beer. Not dead, absolutely not. Nice streaming carbonation. Didn't have a crazy head or anything like that. Let's get some aroma. does smell like a little bit of a kind of floral, older honey kind of tonality, caramel. Soft kind of rye bread almost, pepperiness. It's definitely bready, but almost like a rye bread. Car rye bread, earthy kind of pepperiness, caramel. Something almost like a, a kind of older floral honey. Maybe like a clove honey. Interesting smell, for sure. Cheers. This is an easy drinking beer. This is a really easy drinking beer. Little earthiness, subtle, subtle earthiness still left from those hops that were initially in there. A little kind of nuance of a floral tone, but it's kind of basically gone. Very soft, earthy tone, running through the palate all the way in the back. Rather, rather clean. A little bit of a, as I said, almost a hint of a, a faint hint of a breadiness, kind of tapering on a rye bread. With a little bit of caramel backer, like a little toffee caramel backer on the way down. Pretty nice. It's kind of like uh, if you put take take a nice like a soft uh, like a, like an Irish breakfast tea or something like that, and you put a little bit of honey in there. It's not super sweet, but you have a little bit of a floral tone, a little bit of a sweetness in there. Kind of like that with that little bit of caramel uh, mixing in with that <clears throat> subtle floral tone, subtle sweetness, subtle caramel tone in the background, and then under that just a little bit of the earthiness, that brighty earthiness. It's pretty good actually. Another easy drinker, man. I got a smile on my face because it's not the most dynamic beer. It's out out of the out of the four. 
I just said it's not the most boring either. It's actually quite enjoyable. It's got that like little bit of a hint of a rye tone, a little bit of that kind of earthiness that's still left in there to give it a little bit of a zip. Carbonation's nice. Nothing. nothing. I mean, it's even got that kind of low side of a medium body, medium side of the medium body to the low side of the medium body on the drinking. So, uh, drinking. So it's actually nice. It's, I think it got kicked up with a little bit of age as well. That caramel kind of nice nuanced flavor. Excuse me. So I'm actually really enjoying it. Mm. Yeah. Just another nice crusher. And I felt perfectly fine after I drank those other three. So I'll feel perfectly fine after I drink this. And look at the epic lacing. Huh? Look at that lacing. Ooh. Good stuff. Hmm. Now again, I don't know what it's like fresh, so I'm, I can't give it a really super great score or anything like that. But for what this is, Kind of checking all the boxes for me i'm happy with it i'm very pleased i think it was a good buy good price uh, i have you know 20 more of these to enjoy at a really good price I, I'm, I'm just tickled pink every case i bought was a solid beer and a great price at them too you know what i mean a great price for solid nice drinking uh Beer that you know can handle age because it's already down, it's already there. So you just when I want to, I can go grab some. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a rush. I don't have to worry about the hops fading and all this craft beer nonsense. I just go get one. It's standing the test of time because of brewing heritage. Everything's good. I'm really happy about that. I was a little worried about the organic one, but it's still perfectly fine. And I really wish I had the date on here. I could tell you. Where these dates were but i know they're old as hell but unfortunately they just don't have dates on them or the boxes or anything so which is sad <coughs> but and that was a burp this is nice and i know my videos get reversed for some reason on this phone so i'll make sure i reverse it back before I upload it to YouTube. So there we go. That'll be fun. It's almost gone. I'm just enjoying some King Diamond. Oh, my picture disc. It's very old. There it is. I didn't like the other ones. I don't want to be a defunctory, but it's a very solid beer. It has the characteristics I enjoy. Uh, I'm very happy with what I found out. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. You know, it's it's good. And it's a, uh, it's definitely above a lot of other beers, if you know what I mean. So definitely go for, I'd go for this one above a lot of stuff you can easily buy at the stores. So I'm going to give it a 7.5. Let me know if you've had this, your thoughts and opinions. And until then, cheers. Watch that figure. Bye-bye.